Hi, this is Darcy from Tales from the Nursery, and today I'm going to show you how to install the Diono Radian RXT car seat. Um, they're formerly known as Sunshine Kids, but they have rebranded, so I'm trying to help get the name out there with the new name. Um, so I'm going to show you first how to adjust the harness straps. When mine came, they were coming up through here, and since my daughter is still rear facing, the straps need to be at or below her shoulders, but they were above because she's still like kind of down here. So we got to we had to adjust these, but it's not too bad. It's actually pretty easy. Um, the back looks kind of confusing at first, at least it did for me, because it seems like there's just tons Some of, of this stuff is for everywhere. when you do forward facing, because um, there's like this tether that you have to do. Um, there's different belts that you can use for carrying the seat over your shoulder and things like that because you can take it on an airplane and it folds up so it it's pretty good for carrying that way um, unlike some other car seats like our other old one but first you just have to, to adjust the straps the harness straps there's this piece back here and you have to take off the harness straps you just unthread them from there and then you pull it out of the seat here and then you just thread it where you need it to be. I'm threading it back where I needed it. So you got them there and then you just have to hook them back on to here. But you have to make sure that you get both of these all the way on and under that hook. Um, that's probably the toughest part for me was just making sure that you got them all the way. Because once you get the second one on there, there's a lot of belt. So you just have to watch it and make sure you got it all. Otherwise it's not that difficult, but it's just, you just gotta make sure that it's all the way on there so it doesn't slip off. So then you got the, those, those straps done. The middle seat part, um, this belt, is a little bit tougher to move, at least in my opinion, because it's not easy to grab underneath to get it out. It's easy to put it in, but to get it out you have to like reach through the rear belt, the rear facing belt path, and it's kind of hard to reach in there. It's hard to see what you're doing, but um, otherwise it's not too bad. That's probably about the hardest thing that I had was adjusting this. This is the fun latch system for the rear facing. In the back of the seat, you have to push these buttons to release them out because they do click into there. And there's a belt along the path on the side that you have to unthread. So then you just put this through the path. And you want to make sure that the belt doesn't get all twisted up, though. So guide it through. And you want to keep the red button facing up. And it does have where it says up. And this makes it a little bit easier with finding the latch. Because it's not like the old ones where you're trying to, like, hold it open and get it in there and then hook it. Um... I just have to feel where it is so I can kind of aim this at it. And then you hear a click. I just tug on it, make sure it can't pull out. And you do the same thing on the other side, and then you just pull it tight. So it's actually pretty easy. Um, I found it much easier than our old car seat. And that one I had installed on a couple of vehicles. So I'm really liking this one, and it's much more comfortable. It's got memory foam in here and stuff, and my daughter, we took a long road trip, like a three hour road trip, and she actually did really good in it. Usually she's a real pain halfway through the trip because she just wants out of her seat so badly, but this time she actually did really good and she was pretty content back here. I didn't have to get in the back and sit with her and stuff like I usually do. And yeah. Um, I still have cup holder. We have a cup holder that came with it that I have to install on here for her. And um, 
it does have extra pieces to make it more comfortable for a smaller baby because you can fit from five pounds up through 120 because this will also convert into a booster seat. So this seat, even though it's a little bit higher price point, it will last you from birth all the way through until they're out of the car seat or out of the booster. So it's pretty good in, in that respect. And it's good quality. Um, like I said, with just the comfort factor, that made a huge difference in our trip. And uh, I found it pretty easy to install. I mean, I was a little, just took a little bit reading through the instructions, kind of figuring out what is what in the, you know, the pieces and the, all the belts back there. But then after that, then it was like no problem. I've <laughs> actually installed and uninstalled the seat a few times now. Um, so it's pretty easy. And the size of it is pretty good. Um, these can fit three across. Uh, obviously I don't have three to try that out with because I don't need three and there's no way they're gonna give me three just to try that across the seats. But um, you can see from the size of it that it, it fits pretty good here. And as long as you've got the anchors all the way across um, or a seat belt for in the middle or whatever, um, these fit pretty compact. This is a thinner base on the bottom than like our other one because that one just like takes up half the seat back here. So that's the Diono Radian RXT. Thanks.